Okay, we are back. And, um, okay. As I said, you will get this full project after I finish with this one. This is React Hooks or React Mern items with hooks. The same application we had before, but now with hooks. Let's add an item. This one, um, we need to open this. Remember that I'm not uploading any image. I'm just setting all this thing here. So this is dry jean and dry jean 40, let's say 40. And create, well, create post. I forgot to change that. So we get the updated, um, I mean, we get the product and let's say bottle. I tried this um, I recorded this, but I had some issues. So I decided to record this again. So let's update this and let's go back and the item is updated. Okay, so let's take a look at what we are using. We're using hooks, but let's go to the index because remember that you need the browser router in order to manage your routes. Okay, let's check the routes. Um, okay. So you import your routes and you use the switch with exact and pass your routes, the routes you want to use. And in case you want to pass a parameter, like an ID, we pass this. Okay. So let's go to app.js and let's start from the beginning. That is this thing, the main uh, page. So, we need to import use state and use effect. Let's go here and use effect. What does use effect do? Um, you will you tell React that your component needs to do something after the render. React will remember the function you pass, okay, and call it later after performing the double dates. So this is essentially what. Um, Component did mount or component will mount um, was doing okay. But if I understood correctly, this will also be um, like component will destroy a component. I can't remember the fucking um, life cycles, but when the, when the component is unmounted. I think it was component will unmount, right? So you can essentially use it as that, as um, as the as all the lifecycle methods from React. Okay. So the first thing you will see is that, of course, we are importing our routes here, and we are returning this div with our navigation and with the routes inside this class name app. We are using with router because we need to check the routes. Why? Why we need to check the routes? Because I'm going to change or remove the list item here if we have this add item on the URL. Okay? And add it if we have uh, if we don't have that on the URL. And how that is working? Well, first of all, you will need to set your constant in this thing. You might find this like, what the hell is this thing? The path is what we're going to change, okay? The state. So instead of using state equals um, path, okay? And all that shit, I can't remember how it was because I haven't worked with React in a while. So um, you use this path and this set path, okay? Set path is, let me save this shit. Uh, set path is the function that we're going to use to set the state of path. Okay? And all this is going to be equal to use state. So, in order to check or to hide the add item option on the menu, we need to, to add this add listener, add event listener uh, with the load event or on the load event of the window 
in order to check if the path name that we are receiving, um, okay, we're not using props in this case, that we are receiving from the window is the same as add item. If we have add item inside the URL, okay, as we have here, then we remove that option. And we use set path, okay, to the option we have, I mean to the option to the URL we have, we use that, uh, we use set path to set this option, okay, to be the same as window local path name. So in the check path, um, we are going to check, this is a constant or listening history, we're going to check the props, okay, now we're using our props inside our application function, history, that we have the history uh, property, we're going to listen uh, for the location, and inside we're getting this location, so when this check path function comes into use with the use effect, every time we render the or every time the DOM is being rendered, we're going to check um, or define the set path. Okay, this might be a, might sound a little tricky, but what we are doing is just setting the state of the path using what we have, what we receive from the location. We need the location path name in order to check if the window location path name, okay, is a add item. Okay, so this function is being used inside our use effect, that is our life cycle method in this case, and we need to check if the path matches the route. Note, okay, a check that everything is a function. The constant, this is the constant, this window at the is just a function that is going to be run um, every time, okay? The constant, check path is a function that is going to check and set the path variable we have up here um, we're going to set this value okay so I know I know there's some um, things I won't explain correctly or the thing is that if you are new to react or new to programming these things won't make uh, much sense because um, I don't feel the need to explain using simple examples, okay? You can find all that on YouTube. I'm not going to say use effect just to add another, um, you know, to add something to the title or add, no. I'm going to try to work with what I have Okay, with the technologies um, in a better way, adding them to a working environment, okay, or a working function. So, if you feel that you're not getting what you are expecting, come to the documentation, check another tutorial, simple tutorials using the, you will you know, you will understand more using simple examples. Um, but this is the way I'm doing things. Um, so, yeah, just keep that in mind that in this case, in the case that it doesn't make too much sense, um, just bear with me. You will have the files. Don't worry. You will, uh, you can check other tutorials and build up your knowledge. Okay, that's that is, I think. Mm, the best thing you can do instead of following a tutorial, build your knowledge using different resources. Okay, so let's continue with this. So this effect will run, the use effect will run after uh, each um, render. Okay, so we are going to check or we're going to add this constant that is going to be show at item to be equals to path. Okay, what the fuck is path? Path is this thing, okay? Remember that this is the thing that is going to have the state 
or that is the state. <clears throat> so we need to reference that path. So check if the path matches the route. So all these, as I said, are constants and functions outside the return. Outside anything else are just constants and functions. Okay. And this is not a class. So in this case, let's check this. If show add item is not equal to add item, this let item, let add item a variable is going to be the link or the list. Okay. So in this selection, we're going to add this add item that is this variable. We can add and reference this variable from outside uh, or return. And um, it's going to check if the URL, since our URL is show add item that is referencing the path, contains this add item. And if it doesn't contain it, it's going to return this that is going to be appended here, okay, after the items link. So that's how it's working, but we need to wrap our app with, with router. Okay, so with router is being um, imported from React Router DOM. So this is the first part of the application. Let's go to the routes now. That let's go to add item. Okay, so you uh, will see that it's not such a big file. So in this case, I'm not using use effect. I'm setting the state only using use state. Okay, importing default image from my assets image PNG. That is that. At image is this image okay this is the exact same thing as we had before so if I type something here you can see that it's been um, added here so everything is working the only thing that's going to change is the reference how you're going to reference everything okay you used to use this that props that and the name of your variable now you will not need to use that but um, you will need to use um, I haven't found because I haven't had the chance to um, get more in depth with this uh, use effect and use state. But this is the way that I found in, a, in an article to reference the, f the form. So let's take a look at this. Remember that this product name, this first um, property or variable inside these brackets is the name of our um, variable that is going to store the path. Okay. So let's say this again. You build the state before. Um, I haven't just React in a while, so <laughs> if, in case I type it wrong, just you know, bear with me. So this would be product name, right? And you would add this that props in case you have props inside this okay so but we don't have that sheet so just picture that inside your head so this that props that um, name okay so this product name is the same as this in this kind of state but we are not using that state anymore because that was only for class based uh, components so that's the same sheet Okay, the product name is going to store the state that is going to be um, changed or set using this set product name. And it's the same for the rest of the things. So where this thing is coming uh, or where this thing is going to is or um, let me check. Okay. We're using them here. We'll check the form in a second. As I said before, you would need to say this that props and that product name, but these are just constants and variables, so you can just say 
inside your brackets, of course, product name, and you will get the same functionality. As you can see, down there is changing. So that's that. Um, let's come back uh, to the top. This route to the redirect, route redirect is going to manage our redirections, okay, or redirections. So we will check that in a second. So let's build this um, create item function, okay. Um, we manage the event because we need this event that prevent default in order to avoid the form being set or being, um, I mean, the form, the page to be refreshed. Okay. We build this constant item that is going to have the name, the description, the image, and the amount. Okay, I'm just adding this because I changed the name so you can see what everything is doing or where everything is coming from. So product name is the same that we have here and all the same. Okay, except this price that um, well. It was another name on the. This is using Mongo. This is the same thing as we did before, as I explained before on the other um, code review. So it's using the same database. Um, uh, to do, no, this is not it. Just let me check. Home. Is using um, no, no stripe because I'm adding into this no stripe. I will uh, check stripe again with invoices and all the crap that you know, all the good shit that they have. I will check that later and I will uh, update what we have on the repo for not the Stripe API, okay? So bear with me with that. I will check that later. So there are a lot of things that I want to do. I think I'll uh, rest like a month after my next project, if everything, comes, if everything goes right, so I can have a month or two months uh, to build up the channel, to add more things, add tutorials that you really want tutorials I will add tutorials from scratch you will see me typing all this shit okay so yeah just wait for that so let's continue so we create this constant a uh, create item that is a function we need to event print default in order to uh, avoid the page to refresh after the submission uh, after the submit sorry of the form so in we need to check or in this case, I wanted to to pass an object, so I added an object, of course, because we are, we need to pass several things, so better to have an object, right? So our constant options. What is our constant options? We need this because we are going to use fetch. We're not using Axios, okay? Axios is for pussies. <laughs> no, no, no. Axios is, is um, although it's easier. And we're just going to use fetch, so fuck, right? Also, if you don't have the chance to use actions on another project, you can just use fetch. That is, um, you know, on ES6, you can use it freely. And so, we need the constant options to pass the method post, the headers to our API, and the body that is going to be this item object stringified, okay? Because that is what um, our node API is waiting. So we're going to check, a simple check, if description, image, product name, and price, that are these things, okay? These variables are uh, empty. If one of them is empty, let me open the console. Okay, all that shit. So let's say create post. The form is not valid to be sent because all these things, all these inputs are empty. So I'm just consoling and this form is not valid to be sent. Okay, 
But if everything is right, we're going to send a post request using our options that has our body, that has our item object, that our item object has our um, state. And um, boom, 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 boom. after we get the response, I'm just console the response and redirecting. Okay, that's what I'm doing. Not much to see there. So let's see how we are managing the form. This is just um, okay. Remember that these are just constants, functions. So on submit, reference this name create item that is the same or is or constant create item that manages or fetch post request okay so um, we're going to manage this in this uh, way the change of the state so remember that this set product name and this set description are the functions that we are using or that we are defining here that are going to manage the state. So on change we are going to set um, we're going to pass the event and use the inline function set product name and pass what we have inside this input. So it's going to reference itself and change the state depending on what is being changed. Okay, so that's the same for all um, uh, for the rest of the things. On of course changing um, the functions being referenced, and that's that. So that's the way to manage the functions, the on change inside or inputs so let's say let's add another one so you can see because why not um what is this bitterly shot okay um no i'm not going to download that i'm going to reference get the reference paste the reference so remember that this image as before, is using this um, this constant is image ready is going to be the same as image. What is image? Image is what we have here defined on our constant. Image right now in this case uh, with the state has this uh, URL. But if I delete this, okay, it's empty. So let's paste that back and depending if this image is empty or not we're going to define this image preview that is image preview is being added here not defined here but it's being defined in the line 49 and line uh, 51 okay so if if is image ready true or returns true meaning that it has something we're going to use what we have inside the image state inside this image and pass that so it's going to pass this uh, URL and it's going to get the image okay if not we're going to pass the default image that we have on our folder and that's it for that and inside because okay this is not angular <laughs> So we're going to pass only this thing, image preview. That is going to be this image preview. Empty or not, we're going to pass the image preview and set the default image or the image we uh, added using the URL. Now, constant redirect is going to be the same. Or it's going to be reference a reference of the route redirect. Now remember that the route redirect is here and we're going to add or change the state using set redirect so after we fetch the post request or let me rephrase that after we make the post request we're going to get a response from the api and the api um well 
it's going to respond something, a message. Okay, let me show you that because you might be thinking, what the fuck are you doing? Okay, let's go to bum, 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 items. This is the same API we had before. Let me show you the folder again. It's the same thing we had for the React. Okay. So it's nothing new. You can check there the routes or I will show you anyways um, how it's working. So, um, so I'm making a push request to, to items, right? And um, where the fuck? Yeah, items. Add an item. I'm fucking blind. So, this um, is going to manage the request and response. Console in the request. No, let's not console that because it's a lot of crap that most of the times we will not need unless you are working with some other, you know, complicated things, some NASA things. <laughs> so let's keep going. This is the response that we are going to get. So this is the body. We already passed that uh, dry gene. So this is the response we are getting from the not uh, API. Okay. So you can see that it's connected. We're going to um, create a new item passing the mongoos object ID or getting the mongoos um, object ID and passing the request. So you can see that the request is having, let me see, name, dry green, description, dry green, image, that's the URL of the image, amount 40. Um, and a lot of things, the route and all, okay, a lot of things. So we're just going to pass that and let Mongoose and Mongo to manage all that in case they can uh, upload it. There is no error inside or request or inside or, or object. They're going to add it. If not, we're going to we are just going to send the, the item was not saved a message and the error message and deal with it. Okay, so let's add this vitality shot. Vitality shot. Vitality shot. And how much? Let's say 120. I don't know. You know, I don't know the prices of these things. So let's create a post. We'll be redirected on, we are getting this, um, so let's go back here because I'm going to use this as a, for the next um, things. So, okay, that's it. Oh, okay, forgot. This is the response we are getting from the um, API. Um, nope, that's not it. I'm just consoling that. No. Mm. I think was we'll saved successfully. Why is not showing this? Maybe because no. Oh, I don't know. Maybe I'm managing here. Response, yeah, that's the response I'm getting. Okay, okay, I think I know. So it's created type course. Um, the thing is that okay, well, I'm getting the response. I'm not going to spend that much time with that because it's the same as, as the example we had before. It's the same API, so um, you can play with that later. Okay, so this one is the, I'm just um, returning a red fragment because why not? I try to be specific, okay, uh, with the things I'm typing, 
using this and um, you can use the shorthand notations um, I don't mind and you know it's just it depends on if you want to feel smart use the you know because this is it's just like this um, and I think the, the other one is like this so that's it okay if you want to feel smart do it that way okay if you want a uh, readability or the code to be uh, readable do it uh, like this and yeah I don't know people like to feel smart I don't give a shit so but since these are um, you know I want to show you everything I'm not going to cut anything so so you can see where everything is coming from and where everything is going for so let's continue to the item itself so the item itself is this page okay of the an item so everything is being um, added into our page using the the mongodb database okay so we in this case you are using use effect and use a state we, why we need use effect because we need to set um sorry we need to get the item after each render so it's the same i'm using the same thing as before except that i'm using a function i don't know why i'm using a function oh yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. i know why well it's the same you can use uh, you can use either way a constant or functions okay <clears throat> maybe I did that because of that I don't know so we need to make this fetch get request using this props match params ID in case you don't know what the fuck is this thing this is thing this thing is coming from the props okay and that is um, that has all the history of our application or state and all that is coming from the props and we're going to check for the ID parameter what is the ID parameter is this thing okay each um, item contains an ID and that ID is being passed um, I didn't show you that no I didn't show you the main Ah, because you should already know this so mm, 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 mm. yes I'm using uh, the item ID that is being um, ah, I forgot the fucking word this is coming from Mongo okay the item, the item ID I'm, I'm just building the link using the ID okay I will show you okay let me show you that because later I will see comments about um, me not showing everything or that I don't know how to so the elements so I can do this shit right here so this is the link okay item and the name I mean the ID so let's go and take a look at the other one so you can see that it's different okay I can I can just um, scroll so that's the link or that's how the build that's how the link is being built so let's go back no this is not it this is one okay let me go to back to the console and make this a little smaller okay let me close this let me continue with this just a little um, you know brackets from what we are doing and this is the main page okay this is the this page we're just making the get request to the um, items inside your API we are just setting just the items and the set items to be um, executed and to pass where do I'm using the let me, let me, let me, let me check let me check oh yeah 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 I'm sending the items to this item start data. I'm returning um, data. That data is okay. Let me show you. 
am I consoling this or what? No. The way I'm structuring my information, my response, console.log, is that I have this these items, remember that these items, in case you are new to something and, and okay, uh, I know that people are, um, you know, want to learn. And if you find this thing a little unsetting or I don't know why this thing is items, it's items because I want it to call, you know, I want this to be called items. So these items is going to... Um, contain inside like a little box is going to contain everything and we can inspect what we have there so let's check the items and as you can see what I'm returning for the from the um, from node is a set an array of um, elements that each element contains a uh, what we have on the database okay So I need this data. That is the, the data object that I'm getting. That's why I'm using set items to pass the data to be in the state of items. And this thing is being uh, passed everything every time. I mean, it it is a render. So let me check that. Let me check this. So you can see it's, it still works. Let me refresh this. It still works, okay. I'll perform React. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. When you can perform a React state update on an unmounted component, this is not a okay. So what is getting is a destroying the component and setting into something. So now, if we click here, you can see that nothing happens. So that's why, that's what I was saying before. That um, it still manages the component will unmount. So in some cases, you will need to unsubscribe for something. That's why we are passing this little um, array. Because, well, this thing is returning an array. So I decided to pass an array and it's going to use that to set the, um, as far as I know, to set the unsubscription, to destroy the subscription, the subscription. So um, that's why you now can see the error. There is no error there right now. Okay, so let me go back here. So. This is the items, and you can inspect this. You will find the okay, but le yeah, yeah, I know, I know. And some of you are still new, and we need to iterate. And I need to, to keep that in mind. Sorry, sorry. Um, that some people are still new, are still new into React. I'm just you know, stumble into this. Um, code review that as, a, as I said it's not a tutorial but um, yeah so these items is the items we have here okay and we need to map or to iterate and each time we do that remember that we got the the object I'm considering that should no okay so let me console this back um items I am um, uh, another thing these items is not the same as these items okay these items is only being seen inside this function so these items is not this I mean these items is not the same as this one. That's why we need to set the items because it's going to set this variable. So these items, this one is the same as the one the line 13 is the same as the one we have on the line 14. Speaking about this it and these items. Okay, so keep that in mind if you are new. 
So every time we iterate, we pass these um, objects and we decide what to do each time we um, get one of these items. Okay, one item. So we return this div class name item with a key. We need a key because React will um, uses this key. You should already know, but in case you are new to React, React uses this key to keep um, to keep to keep everything organized. Let's say that. Um, every time I delete something, it's going to manage because I'm passing this ID. Okay, it's going to check for that ID and say, okay, um, this ID is now um, removed and I don't need to check for anything else because the IDs are unique. But what if you are passing an index, right? Every time you pass an index inside this key, okay, you will um, remove an index and that index will uh, be reset will be resetted again every time you delete something and react will um, have to make some calculations about that okay so in case you have thousands of um, of items with an index, it's going to take more time to render that. Okay, so then we build this using the item. We'll build the link using the item. Remember that the link is coming from React Router DOM. You need to install the React Router DOM. And as I forgot, I didn't show you the um, package.json. Sorry, this is not it. This is for my API. Nope. Um, let me go to package adjacent. Okay. Uh, React Reactor DOM and React DOM. Okay. You need to install those. So let me close this. I decided not to check the rest of the API because you know it's the same as we had before. So I'm just going to focus on the rest of the application that is only one more component no one more function i think so let's continue with the main is already set okay it's getting all the items at item you already saw that app.js you already checked that that is managing the urls um, and it's the item that we need we still need to check the item so coming back here um remember that this is a process okay so one thing is going to reference some other thing and you will see me moving from one file to another or one thing to another in case we're using angular okay so i want to know this i want you to notice the process more than you know to follow all so sometimes i will forget something i will go back so just you, you just need to to keep that in mind. So yeah, we already check this. It's the same, okay? Because when the component is destroyed, we're going to get the error, and um, we need to unsubscribe from this um, fetch, okay? So constant update item is a function that is going to be every time it's going to be called every time and um, we update or we click update <coughs> oh, sorry uh, that every time we click this update it's going to make a post request no sorry a put request okay i'm trying to to keep everything as it should be not to make a post request but to make a put or update request so you need to change that here in case you want to add a patch i mean a patch request so we pass the options as before we need the event a uh, prevent default we need the item object to store everything okay like a little box and um, the headers 
that our API is ex expecting and to stringify our object and that we're going to make a fetch a put request to the item and that is expecting the params ID okay I think I'm going to swallow my words and show you that to um, routes so you can see what is going on here so this is the pull request okay this is managing the pull request this is what we are expecting and lol forgot that okay <clears throat> and this is what we are passing remember that this props contains everything from our url and we can manage we can get the the id the parameter we are passing but for that in case you are new to react or you don't feel you know confident about what is going on you need to pass this parameter okay so in order to make that work to get the parameters you need to pass a parameter and then we pass the options to the fetch we receive the response and we redirect we set the redirect state to true <clears throat> that is this one the one at line at line 10 and yeah we are going to be redirected now the form is the same before you uh, ask something the form is the same you need to pass the inline functions on change with the event with the function you want to you know that is going to set the state for whatever uh, you want whatever um, variable you want and to pass the event target value okay everything is a value we're getting the value the product name oh why because forgot to say that we are fetching yep we are fetching the item every time we pass that forgot because I, I was checking this um, the error we are going to set right after we get the response from the server we're going to set um, the state like this so here after this function is done right now the product name description price and image will have the values from the server and we just need to set this uh, value to get everything added inside our inputs and text areas okay that's the same the that's the only thing that is different from the last um, form so everything is still the same it stays the same with the own change and all that okay so that's it no no the delete and uh, I will finish with this one we set the confirmation and we make the delete request we also need to pass this ID with the props match params ID and uh, make the fetch using the options and the ID because it's waiting for that and that's it the item should be deleted using the same thing as we uh, use on the other application and um, this one is the same if redirect is false we're not going to redirect if redirect is true we're going to redirect we're going to return this redirect to meaning that after we um, update we set redirect to true and we respond or we return the redirection and that's it that's the only difference um, you can see that it's not that bad because you're going to use your only functions and constants in order to build your application and you don't have to use this that props that whatever in order to get um, your your variables okay so let me go back here let me um, come back here 
Uh, let me delete this one. Yep. Okay. We respond with that. And that's it. Okay, I will finish this one here. And um, if you have any doubt, I will add the repo uh, later today. And yeah, take a look at it. Um, if you have any comment, just let me know. And see you on the next one.